y'all, y'all should buy my CD because I used to sell crack. I love it when people laugh because it's a poem, it's not true. <laughs> no, nah, somebody at, at the end of a show in Virginia came up to me like, yo, I, I sell crack now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like we had some type of connection. <laughs> Y'all should buy my CD because I got shot three times to the three to nine and all that. See, there's a market for niggas. There's a market for niggas that target figures that purchase $100,000 jewelry. And $200,000 automobiles don't fool me. I know pain when I see it. And he would probably rather give it all away instead he signed his life away just to realize that a million dollars was a small price for him to pay for his dignity. And I suppose if I earned $100,000 a show that had already been spent on security, entourage, groupies, and blow, it wouldn't be so sweet. And I hope dead President Talib Kweli realized that it's not that black people don't like positivity. It's simply that we often don't have the disposable income to purchase tons of CDs. But, but little rich white kids buy CDs 10 at a time. And, and the more ignorant the nigga, the more they can off their mom. So if the song calls his mother a sister a bitch or says he's willing to kill his brother in order to get rich, it just makes it even better. The, the bigger the money, the bigger the monkey. Just throw cash at her. Watch her take off her dress. Just throw cash at him. Watch him expose his chest. Somewhere, y'all, right now, there's a prostitute sniffing blow in order to take her mind for how she earns her living. Somewhere, y'all, right now, there's a rapper sniffing blow in order to take his mind for how he earns his living, but, but there's a market for niggas. And, and spoken word is but poems don't buy big homes, and poems don't light up wrists, and it might be nice to make all y'all jealous of my bank account, but what's more important is that my mother's respect is priceless. And, and it, it used to be, and it used to be back in the days you could cover your face with black face and red lipstick and black people would hate you but surely get rich just take a picture poking out your lips eating watermelon lips guarantee your show is selling but nowadays if you're effectively rapping about gun clapping other black men say no more nigga you platinum with half a dozen racist billionaires willing to back him. Y'all tell me how that's any different than back then. The more he shows his jaws, the more he gets applause. And if he's willing to play the role of society savage, then society will make him a star because there's a market for niggas. Just... Just write some bull. <laughs> There's money to be made in convincing black people that Jill Scott does not exist. Because if a young girl knows she's golden, she won't allow herself to be called no bitch. And, and it's only common sense that if you take away her self-confidence, she'll believe the dropping it like it's hot for a soldier is an accomplishment. And if it'll increase a young man's chances of going to jail, they'll promote it. I guarantee everybody in Snickers right now, a thousand dollars, your record will sell as long as it sound like Willie Lynch wrote it. Just focus on being a stereotype. Like you wake up every morning just dying to fight. Just, just snapping pictures of stacking riches and clapping triggers and smacking bitches. You want to get this started? your pride, nigga, just act retarded. You think I'm playing? As long as white folk got money, there's a market for niggas. Thank y'all for listening to me.